Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Shake Skyra Fever, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Bashimpundu if you like. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Bashimpundu has posted a new video. Of course, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also share with the loved ones so that they can know what is happening in our country and in the world at large. This is where you get the best, best, best news and latest things that are trending in Zambia and all over just on this channel. So right about now, um, let me just talk about um, Honorable Chitalu Chirufia and also uh, Honorable Dora Slia. So the thing is, this morning, Honorable Chitalu Chirufia, the Zambian Health uh, Minister, has been acquitted by the Anti-Corruption Commission. Really? Does it mean that prisons were meant for the poor Zambians and the people that are in top government positions? They are free from the crime that they commit. Despite every evidence that this is what the minister has done, and at the end of the day, he's acquitted. If a poor Zambian committed a crime today, it is when that you can see that the law of Zambia works, the Anti-Corruption Commission works, Zikta works, everybody that can make that person go to prison works. The courts, they work. But the top government officials, no matter the wrong, the crime, no matter the abuse of the law they can commit, they are always acquitted. They come out free. They are immune to go into prisons. Does it mean that the prisons or the crimes or the law only works against the poor Zambians and not the people that are rich, not the people that are in the government. What is going on in Zambia? What is happening to us? Do we have to wait for a new government that comes in to come and persecute those that committed crimes in a government that has been, uh, that has come out of government when a new government comes in? Is that the way it's supposed to be? Is that the way it's supposed to be? Is that the way the country is supposed to be run? Is that the way really? Like this is an animal farm or something? This is not right. This is not correct. Anyway, God will judge. God will really judge because he is seeing what is happening in our country, Zambia. He's seen what is happening because he's, he, he, he does not sleep nor slumber. He's ever seen what is going on and what is happening to his own children. Away from the Honorable Chitalu Chilufia, um, Honorable Dora Slia, Chief Government Spokesperson, was um, testifying in court uh, today and this is what um, she said. I am single divorced but that doesn't make me a high level prostitute an emotional slayer tells the court chief government spokesperson and information minister doris Lea, this morning emotionally testified before chief resident magistrate lamek mwale in a matter where photographer chela tukuta accused of her being a high level prostitute miss Lea, 49 emotionally told the court that she may be single divorced and may be have had a re failed relationships, but that does not make her a high-level prostitute, as alleged by Chela. She denied Chela's allegations. She was selling girls for sex. This is in a case in which Chela, 34, is charged with criminal libel after he published a defamatory matter affecting Miss Lea in the form of a video on Facebook that Miss Lea is a pimp and hooks up girls for high-profile people like ministers and permanent secretaries. But, he, but the accused pleaded not guilty to the charge. 
However, testifying before Major Street, um, Mwale this morning, Ms. Lea denied ever engaging in the business of selling human beings as alleged by Chela. I don't sell human beings. I don't engage in sexual activities for cash. I am a human being. I am not inf uh, infallible uh, and infallible. Okay, and uh, what I have done is uh, the best I can. Yes, I may be single. I may have failed relationships. I may be divorced, but that does not make me a high-level prostitute. That does not mean I sell human beings. I sell girls to high-profile men. Miss Lea emotionally told court, adding that she decided to have Chela uh, prosecuted after his injuries utterances which damaged her reputation she recalled how she received several phone calls from her colleagues including infrastructure minister vincent mwale former state house aide kaiza zulu over chela's video which was extremely embarrassing she further said she also received a whatsapp message from united states embassy in lusaka charge the affairs david young who described the video by Tukuta as misogynistic and disgraceful. Earlier, she narrated how she received a call from Natasha Vandermas on May 25, 2020, who alerted her about Chela's video. She said at the time she was in quarantine with her son at home in Ibex Hill for COVID-19. Miss Lea explained that her son, whom she was with in the kitchen, downloaded the video and she saw Chela making allegations about her. She, uh, she said what got her attention in the video was where Chela said she was hooking up young girls to high-profile men for sex. Miss Lea said Tukuta was accused of her being a high-level prostitute and asked that all the people watching the video must publish it to the whole world she said she was extremely incensed and called her permanent secretary amos malupenga to find out if he had seen on the video of which he confirmed in the affirmative miss lia said there then she decided to make a formal complaint to the police who followed her home on june uh, on june 2nd 2020 because she was still in quarantine the police did, did ask me why I was making the statement and I told them that because she was accused of committing criminal activities of selling human beings and that um, my simple English, prostitutes sell sex for cash and that was what I was being accused of, Miss Celia said. I was watching the videos, my son, that someone should referring to me as a person who sells girls to high profile men which i believe is a crime i felt angry embarrassed because apart from my own person a person who has been a public servant for some many uh, for so many years i felt that this injury was about me in person but also for the government and also the people of zambia who elected that government that i work for i also felt that it was damaging to me and my reputation and my family so that's what is happening to Mr. Um, um, uh, Miss Asidia and also Mr. Chitalu Chilufia today. My name is Peter Shakespeare Favored, the Slim Giant. Mashimpundu if you like, that's what you can call me. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Mashimpundu has posted a new video. Bye.